Welcome everyone, welcome to the stream. It's nice to get back to some serious hardcore fishing again. Look, um, what's happened is last night we had some howling southeasterlies, and what that did, with a southeasterly, the wind's coming from this way. So what that's done is it's basically brought all this weed and all this dirty water to the beach, okay? Which is basically what you want. So about um, 2 a.m. this morning, when it sounded like the roof blew off where we were staying, the winds changed to easterly. So what's happened is now, see how the ocean's flattened out and it's nearly blowing the hat off? That's good. So what we've done is we've picked this section of the beach, probably about another 15 minutes to half an hour, we're gonna have a, um, we're just gonna have the weed sort of die down a bit and then we'll start fishing, okay? So I don't know whether you can see this, on the right hand side there we have some reef in here see this shore break watch this wave it's going to crash down in a minute look boom right today we've got to be really careful this is nothing like where we fish at home there's a lot of water movement So I'm 30 yards from the car here, and there's about another 40 yards down to the beach, fam. If I park any closer, we'll get swamped by waves. That's how much water movement's here. So see this, what we're gonna have to do, the weed is starting to really drop off. This morning early, there was all this stuff here getting washed up. Now we've just got little bits and pieces. So about another 15 minutes to half an hour. Now, just over here on this right hand side, there's a little bit of a rip, okay? So what we'll do is we'll fish to the left of it. Um, we're probably gonna have to use some of our WA beach wires from down south just to hold bottom, but it's gonna be a very interesting day today. I have seen one shape in the waves already, and this is one thing that you can pick out when you stay observing at the beach. When that wave forms, it's like a wall of water before it crashes, you'll see anything that's in there. All right, see that? That's probably about 30 foot high in the air there, okay? So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to wait for the water like this, run down flat out, okay? Cast at the beach, okay? And then bolt back up here because there's no way you're gonna catch me down there waiting for these waves to come in. I think we've got about one and a half to two minutes of good fishing time in between the waves. The hardest thing is just going to be holding bottom. On the right hand side there, famo, right, there's a heap of dirty water that Mulloway like to hang out in, but this is the wrong time of year for the big Mulloway. The big Mulloway down here uh, at a different time of the year, but, um, you know, work gets in the way of that. <laughs> I've just seen something down in the water there. I don't know whether you saw it. There was like a big zigzag in there. So something's come in, fed, and then shot out again. This is good. We're all good today. Now remember when I told you about all the casting that we've been doing at home? Right, that's been practice for this. Because if you can't cast over the shore wash, game over. We've got to be able to cast over all this white water in here. So the reef's just there. Who knows what's swimming around there, fam? But anyway, I'm not gonna bang on about it. Let's get on with it. Hello, hey puppy. Hello, g'day mate. Hello gorgeous, look at you, you living your best life. Hello, what's your name? Come here. Hello beautiful, hey aren't you gorgeous? You going for a run with mum? Hey, hey yeah quick go, go, go. <laughs> g'day mate, how you going? But as, the, as these waves are coming up, they're coming up a lot cleaner because when I got here this morning, right, the whole wall of water was brown with this weed. Right, that's all from this morning and last night. It was just a brown wall of um, light weed. So we're waiting. I don't know whether you can see this next wave. Just check it out. Let's see all this dirty water in front of us. Nyah, nyah. Right. And all this is getting stirred up. See how it's totally different to home? Home, we've got that shallow, gentle, uh, yawn type water. But we're uh, in the northwest of the state and it's never really winter here. So, 
Whereas in the country, it's 18 degrees Celsius. Here today, it's gonna be 31. Right, so what I've done is I've done a loop here. Okay. I'm gonna put that through here. Gonna loop that around my sinker, like so. Right, ta-da. So what we have now is the sinker, like that. So this rig's gonna sit in the water like so once we anchor. And then with this um, anti-crab float, that's gonna try and suspend the bait a little bit more off the bottom, just to give it a little bit more natural presentation and the float won't bother them, okay? Like that. So that's our rig for today with the big stuff. We'll put this out first. Got to pick our moment, fam, that's all. So let's just chill out for a second. Never rush when you're near the water. Okay, so this shore break's gonna hit now, watch. The waves are forming out the back. We've got one just out the back here, then another bigger one forming. So we'll just let this shore wash come up. This will dump. There's a bit of weed out there, but we'll be right. There's another one coming up. And I just need to be able to get close enough to cast. Here it comes, see this? Right, let's go. Rightio, we made it over the wave. Good work. Let's go. Okay, and we've got bottom. Good. Only way we're going to be able to fish today, fam. This is one of the advantages of using braid over monofilament. Okay. Braid will give you a direct line to your sinker and bait, whereas monofilament will just, you know, bunch up. But I think we're gonna have a bit of ha uh, hassle with the weed out there today, Fabo. So let's just wait and see. This might sound a bit silly, okay? But that's actually got less weed on it than last time. So let's just give another 15 minutes, half an hour. We'll get the surface popper out and muck around. Right. But, at least we got the uh, sinker and the rig back, which is good. Uh, last time when we did it, the whole line was covered in weed. Now it's just the rig. That's a good start. Righto, famo. These are the heavy duty wire leaders we made the other night with 80 pound. Okay. That's got the old Flemish uh, loop there. All right, let's see how we go. All right, back in a second. We should be able to cast as far with this surface popper as what we did with the sinker. So, pick our moment. Oh, this is going terrible. Oh no, it's clearing up actually. It's clearing up fam, see how the weed's becoming less? What a cast. That's how you have to fish, famo, you know? So we've got the big 160 mil Halco. That weighs about 78 grams, three ounces. Nine and a half foot graphite fishing rod with a wire leader, you just gotta fish hard, you know? So look, if you just have a look out here, right, check this out. We were casting with a surface popper behind these waves, okay? And see all that dirty water in the waves here, just in the front? That's where a lot of your mulloway and that sort of stuff like to hang out. So, um, you know, all's not lost, but all this weed and that sort of stuff in front of us has made it tough. But what we'll do is we'll come back tomorrow and we go again. That's fishing, you know what I mean? You don't get put off, you just go, righto, you win today, we'll win tomorrow. All right, fam, see ya.